Just like humans and dogs, cats can be affected by high temperatures. Heat stroke and heat exhaustion are serious conditions that can occur in any animal. We tend to hear more about heat stroke in dogs, especially those left in hot cars or taken outside as temperatures increase. Cats are not commonly affected by heat stroke because they are less likely to be trapped in hot areas, but this doesn't mean they are not at risk. You can protect your cat by understanding the signs of heat stroke and learning what actions to take. What is heat stroke? Heat stroke is a condition that occurs when the body temperature has become dangerously high. A cat's normal body temperature range is between 99.5 and 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. An internal body temperature over 102.5 is considered abnormal. If the elevation in body temperature is caused by a hot environment, heat exhaustion may develop and heat stroke is likely to follow. Can cats get heat stroke? Yes, mainly due to being trapped in enclosures. Enemy number one? Cats might consider this a safe and cozy refuge, but then they don't have the ability to escape the high temperatures. They might also suffer heat stroke, also referred to as hyperthermia, if left in a car or in a cage during grooming. Bragdon says certain breeds of cats get heat stroke sometimes, too. There are brachycephalic cats which are more susceptible to heat exhaustion, she says. Like dogs, these cats have shortened snouts, small nostrils, and narrow airways, making it difficult to manage the stress of high temperatures. VCA hospitals note that cat breeds such as the Burmese, Himalayan, and Persian might be more at risk for brachycephalic airway syndrome, which could lead to heat exhaustion and heat stroke. What's the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke? Heat exhaustion implies the body is showing early signs of stress due to elevated temperatures. If ignored, heat exhaustion leads to heat stroke as a cat is no longer able to thermoregulate and core body temperature exceeds 105 degrees Fahrenheit. A cat's average temperature is 100.4 to 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Along with smushed-faced kitties, Bragdon recommends cats with long coats or physical impairments should be kept inside when it heats up outside. Chunky cats, as cute as they are, might also be at risk because of their obesity. Signs of heat stroke in cats. Cats are experts at hiding signs of illness, so you may not notice your cat is overheated until things have become serious. The following signs indicate your cat is overheated and possibly has heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Body temperature of 104 degrees or more, rapid breathing, panting, or respiratory distress, vomiting, diarrhea, anxiety or restlessness, lethargy, dizziness and disorientation, dark red gums and tongue, rapid heartbeat, sweaty paws, drooling with thick saliva due to dehydration, tremors or seizures. Causes of heat stroke. Cats are unable to regulate their body temperature as well as people can. The human body is able to sweat and cool down in response to hot environments. Dogs can pant to cool down up to a point, though this process is not as effective at cooling them down in the heat. Cats do not sweat to cool down and they don't normally pant until they are already in distress. To stay cool, cats tend to move to cooler areas like tile floors, sinks, or tubs. Self-grooming can imitate sweating and provide some cooling. A cat's coat provides some protection against the heat, but this only works to some extent. If a cat ends up in a dangerously hot situation, the body cannot cool down fast enough to prevent overheating. Most cats instinctively move to cooler locations as soon as they feel too warm. Most are able to cool themselves before they approach heat exhaustion. However, a cat may become trapped in a hot area like a greenhouse, garage, shed, car, outdoors, or even a clothes dryer. These are unfortunately some of the more common causes of heat stroke in cats. Kittens, seniors, and sick cats are more susceptible to heat stroke because they are even less capable of regulating their temperatures than healthy adult cats. In addition, Short-nosed cats like Persians often have compromised airways and are more sensitive to heat. Overweight and obese cats are also more prone to overheating. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Diagnosis of heat stroke in cats. Your veterinarian will ask you about your cat's activity and environment to determine what risk factors for heat stroke your pet has been exposed to. Factors such as exposure to high ambient temperature without ventilation, inability to access shade or water, or excessive activity should be communicated to your veterinarian. Your veterinarian will take your cat's body temperature to determine if it has become elevated. Your cat's normal body temperature should be in the 100 minus 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit range. A body temperature of 102.5 minus 104 degrees Fahrenheit is elevated and a temperature of 105 degrees Fahrenheit or higher is life-threatening. Treatment 
The best thing to do if you suspect heat stroke is to get your cat to the nearest open veterinary facility right away. Call the hospital or clinic when you are on the way to get advice about safe cooling methods. You may be able to check your cat's body temperature to assess the severity of the situation. If their body temperature is over 104 degrees, you may be able to administer cooling methods at home. Keep in mind that your cat will still need to see a veterinarian. Cooling down an overheated cat must be done with care. It may seem natural to use ice or very cold water, but these may constrict the blood vessels and actually prevent cooling. Ice and cold water may also overcool the cat and lead to hypothermia, another dangerous condition. Take the following steps to cool down your cat. Move them to a cool, well-ventilated area. If the cat is alert, offer cool water to drink but do not force it. Many cats resist drinking water when they are overheated. Use cool or tepid water to soak a towel and place your cat onto it. Do not wrap your cat in the towel as this may trap heat. Change the towel out when it becomes warm from your cat's body heat. Gently apply cool or tepid water to your cat's coat. Turn on a fan if possible. Continue to check your cat's temperature. Stop cooling methods once the body temperature has reached 103.5 degrees. Further cooling at this stage increases the risk of hyperthermia. Bring your cat to the vet as soon as possible for an examination, even if your cat seems to be back to normal. Your vet may need to run lab tests to check for damage to the internal organs and cells in the body. Additional treatment may be needed to rehydrate your cat, regulate body temperature, and attempt to reverse internal damage. Sadly, not all cats will recover from heat stroke. How to prevent heat stroke. Be sure not to accidentally trap your cat in an area that gets hot. Never leave your cat in a hot car or other hot, enclosed area. The heat inside can rise far higher than the outside temperature. Do not shave your cat's fur to keep them cool. A cat's coat has the ability to keep them both warm and cool. Additionally, shaving the coat increases the risk of sunburn. If you have a cat that goes outdoors, provide access to cool indoor areas and fresh water at all times. Make sure you see the cat at least twice a day. If you have not seen your cat in a while, check to make sure they are not trapped somewhere. Indoor cats should also have access to fresh water and cool areas. Make sure to leave the air conditioner or fan on when you are not home. Before running the dryer, always check to make sure your cat is not snuck inside. Sadly, this is not an uncommon occurrence. Recovery of heat stroke in cats. If no organ damage has occurred, recovery should be full. However, a cat that has suffered from heat stroke may be more prone to recurrence. Care should be taken to ensure they are not exposed to factors that could precipitate heat stroke in the future. You should monitor your cat for possible complications from organ damage, especially if elevated body temperature was prolonged, including watching for blood in the urine which would indicate kidney damage. Seek veterinary help immediately if signs of organ damage manifest. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.